1996 erreichte die Einwohnerzahl der Stadt Provo in Utah fast 100.000. Damit war Provo die zweitgrößte Stadt des Bundesstaates. Im gleichen Jahr jubelten Tausende in Atlanta dem kranken Mohammed Ali zu, als er die olympische Flamme entzündete. Auf der anderen Seite des Ozeans endete in Bosnien ein jahrelanger Konflikt, als ein Waffenstillstand erklärt und friedliche Wahlen abgehalten wurden. Und in Großbritannien fand die unbekannte Autorin J.K. Rowling endlich einen Verleger für ihren ersten Roman über einen jungen Zauberer namens Harry Potter. Einige Monate zuvor trafen sich vier Männer in einem Restaurant in Provo, um über die Gründung eines Unternehmens zu sprechen. Es würde sich von jedem existierenden Unternehmen unterscheiden. Basis war eine unbekannte Frucht aus Tahiti und die Risiken und unbekannten Größen waren vielfältig. Aber während ihres Gesprächs an jenem Herbstnachmittag fühlte jeder für sich ein Feuer und eine innere Leidenschaft, die etwas entfachen würden, was jenseits ihrer Vorstellungskraft lag. The genius of the free enterprise system is that an idea, simply one idea, can become an organization that provides livelihood for thousands and a product that can literally benefit millions. And it all begins with just one idea whose time has come. Die Idee entsprang den Köpfen von John Wadsworth und Stephen Story. Die Lebensmittelwissenschaftler Wadsworth und Story waren auf Forschungsergebnisse über eine Frucht namens Noni gestoßen, die nach Meinung der Tahitianer ungewöhnlich wohltuende Eigenschaften hatte. Verunsichert besorgten sie sich eine Probe der Frucht. It was such a humble beginning at first, working out of a one car garage and a little office in the back of the house and then having this crude sample. But thank goodness John had the vision. John could see the vision of the fruit. He could see that this is something that uh, had never, never been uh, brought to the market. I, on the other hand, my vision was different. Mine was like, uh, okay, John, you work on that. I'll go over here and work on some things that can bring us in some money. Trotz der Hürden arbeiteten Wadsworth und Story weiterhin mit der Frucht und entwickelten mit der Zeit einen Prozess zur Geschmacksveredelung und zur Produktion. Dann kam das Treffen in einem Restaurant in Provo, wo die Geschäftsleute Kim und Carrie Acey eingeladen wurden, Partner zu werden. Kurze Zeit später stieß der Marketing-Experte Kelly Olsen zum Team. I think that I immediately had a feeling that there was something very special about it. A product discovered from Tahiti that was unlike anything that ever been on the market before, first time. I had the feeling, uh, to be honest with you, that that um, that I'd come home, and uh, that that this was something that was going to be very significant in my life. Also, my brother Kim and I were trying to do is to do something good that we could feel good as fathers. Both of us at the time were unemployed. And we were trying to find something that we could make honest, good income, and it was doing good for others. I believe that destiny brought us together. Each one of us have different backgrounds, different experiences. And we were able to come together in a united way, in a very powerful way. And I think that maybe this is management team is the most powerful team that's ever been assembled in this industry. From a marketing perspective, it was a slam dunk first product, first of its kind in the market, exclusive history, benefits. All we had to do is build a company around this product and we knew it would be successful. Am 1. Juli 1996 nahm die Morinda Incorporated, der Vorläufer von TNI, offiziell ihre Geschäfte in einem kleinen Lagerhaus in Linden in Utah auf. It was great to be a part of 
something that had a real mission. I mean, back then, job titles really meant nothing. If something needed to be done in auto ship, everybody pitched in and helped out with auto ship. A card table was set up, and uh, one of the interview questions was, do I play basketball? Then I also remember that we seemed to be able to always be munching on bagels and donuts. We knew everyone. I knew every person that worked at Tish Noni International by name. And we not only spent time together at work, but we spent time together uh, outside of work. Uh, a lot of people don't know this, but I got engaged at the Linden Warehouse to my wife, who was also an employee of Tish Noni International at the time. And the company started growing so fast, so rapidly, that we couldn't keep up with it. Suddenly, we had to take some of the warehouse and put desks and chairs in it for people to answer the phone. Business was booming and increasing every single day. Some people would call the, the number and they would be put on hold for an hour at a time. And so we decided that we needed to shut the company down. This was a very dangerous move, but we couldn't keep up with it. And so just around Christmas time, just before Christmas, we shut the company down for two weeks so that we could train our people and get the uh, operation up to speed so that we could handle the business that was coming our way. It was very exciting to be part of a company that you knew was going to go somewhere. It was a lot of hard work, late nights, long days. There was no weekends in the early part of this business. We didn't know what a weekend was, neither did those employees. Their dedicated service made this company what it is today. And some of them are still with us, and we're so grateful for them. Well, our first distributors are very dear to our heart because they are pioneers. They're the ones that started with us and, and have seen our company grow from a startup on a very tight budget and very meager facilities to the amazing success that it is today. And uh, I'll tell you, nothing can match their vision and passion. But there was no furniture, only folding chairs. Uh, the whiteboard was up leaning against the wall. And I went out in the back and there were several thousand bottles of this noni juice, this juice they're going to sell. And I said, a noni? What's a noni? I was on the phone night and day, night and day. And I would work at the company till, from 8.30 in the morning until 5.30 or whatever. And then I would go to my little kitchenette, a little hotel. I would buy little phone cards and I would work off my phone in the hotel till 12 o'clock at night. It was constant. And, and so I began to see this thing coming. It was the stories that kept me moving forward. It, it was the stories that kept me saying, got to get more product out because the feedback that I was hearing from people about what the juice was doing just made you want to get out there and move, move more product. I had already promised my wife that I wouldn't sign up in anything because when I left the home to go meet with them, she told me if you sign up in anything, don't come home. I didn't want anything to do with this. But what got me as a mom with eight kids Kerry got a call from his little son, Taff. I think he was about seven years old then. And he excused himself so kindly and gently uh, and took that call. And to me, that was the best thing he could have done as a mom because that showed to me his family meant more to him than trying to get some new distributors. But, you know, we were so excited about what was happening with this product. We just, we grabbed a hold of the steering wheel, you might say, and we, hang, we hung on. Kelly called me, it was a Saturday afternoon, and said I got the first eight and a half sheet ready. And I ran over to his house, rang the doorbell, his wife opened the door, I ran upstairs, and I grabbed the very first piece of literature that ever was printed by Tahitian Noni International. It was called Marinda then. I grabbed that off of his printer and went home and started faxing it out to people. Because of the phone jams, so many people calling, people couldn't get their product ordered. And so they decided to open up the warehouse in the back and put four computers back there, you know, it's will call, and let people come and pick up their product. And I would go out there and they would be 50 foot lines, four lines, it looked like Walmart. And I would go out there and talk to these people. And I would say, you know, where are you from? I'm, they'd say, well, I'm from Arizona, California, New Mexico. I said, you mean you drove all the way here to get the product? Yes, we got to have the product. And it was just snowballing. I mean, I would, I'd run out and get the checks every month, and they'd be doubling and doubling and doubling. I said, wow, what do we have here? I'd never seen a company that had invested over $2 million in product before they sold their first bottle of juice. That really impressed me. We have five founders, and each one of them could run a company by themselves. But 
the five together are unstoppable. And their vision for this company uh, grabbed us all and motivated us to start this enormous journey with a great deal of excitement and a great deal of confidence. There was a sweet simplicity about our business in those days, no really complicated business plan. It centered around Tahitian noni juice, and we worked shoulder to shoulder around the clock to figure out ways to get this product into their hands. You know, we knew we had a good product, but we had no idea how it would be accepted in the market, and it was, it was just beyond our wildest imaginations. Im Dezember 1996 waren die monatlichen Verkäufe um 12.000 Prozent gegenüber dem Anfangsmonat des Unternehmens gewachsen. Und in diesem Tempo ging es 1997, 98 und darüber hinaus weiter, während neue Märkte eröffnet wurden und die Menschen weltweit begannen, die Vorzüge des Tahitian Noni Juice zu entdecken. No other company had ever grown as fast as we grew. We were rewriting the models. We created our own model a model that revolutionized network marketing and people are still trying to figure it out. So explosiv dieses erste Wachstum auch war, wie es sich gezeigt hat, war es nur der Anfang. It all began with this fruit. And we made a key determination early on in our business to know more about the noni fruit than anybody else in the world and to never, ever lose that leadership position. Our first lab was in John's garage in Santa Clara, Utah. We just brought in some card tables, we brought in a fan and got to work. John's family was right there in the house and we were working in the garage and it was really fun to have his kids come in and out all the time. And uh, I remember the summers being about 105 degrees and then of course that meant in the lab it was about 115 degrees and uh, we had a little fan that kind of kept us cool and uh, dust was flying everywhere but that was, that was some of the funnest times that John and I have ever had. Binnen kurzem zog das Labor in größere Räumlichkeiten in St. George in Utah um. Aber das Unternehmen wurde bald auch dafür zu groß. Das Labor wurde nach Norden in ein größeres, angemietetes Gebäude in Provo verlegt. Mit der Zeit reichte auch dies nicht aus. Schließlich, im Jahr 2002, wurde der Bau eines neuen, etwa 9000 Quadratmeter großen Warenlagers, einer Produktionsstätte und einer Forschungseinrichtung in American Fork in Utah fertiggestellt. Brick by brick, over 10 years, we built these facilities specifically for Noni research and development. Today, the Tahitian Noni International Manufacturing and Research Center is the largest Noni dedicated research facility in the entire world. And it all goes back to the tree. That ancient tree is the source of all our products. Die tahitianischen Ureinwohner aus dem Indostal nannten ihn Ashioka, Langlebigkeit. Und im Laufe der Zeit wurden dieser Baum, seine Früchte, Blätter und Samen ein wichtiger Teil im Leben der Tahitianer. The ancient Tahitians recognized the healthful benefits of the noni plant and they used every part of it to sustain and promote their health. The evolution of our product strategy is fascinating really. From 1994 to 1997, we focused on the fruit, specifically Tahitian noni juice. This focus led us to discover ways to process and concentrate the fruit to create new products possessing new benefits, such as Tahitian noni concentrated fruit extracts, fiber blend, and Tahitian noni skin supplement. In 1997, we became curious about the seed and then found that it contained a unique oil with beneficial properties. And we patented the extraction process of this oil from the seed, and today we're the only company in the world that can produce noni seed oil. In 2001, a Japanese researcher turned our attention to the benefits of the leaf. This led us to partner with a Japanese firm, Marubeni, 
and develop Tahitian noni noni leaf tea. We had always been aware that generations of Tahitians had used the leaf topically. Again, our R&D team set out to find the answers as to how to make these benefits available. And the results came in 2002 when we introduced Tahitian Noni Leaf Serum, an effective product in soothing, wounded, irritated skin. Through this discovery process, a pattern emerged. The Noni tree, representing our brand and history, the story, legacy, and our culture, the elements, the fruit, the seed, and the leaf that possess the broad range of benefits for the body. The raw ingredients, patented, exclusive, and protected ingredients that unlock the secrets of Noni and make them available in a number of forms and formulas. Finally, Tahitian Noni International Products. Unique products carrying the Tahitian Noni brand and delivering the benefits of Noni enhancing the quality of life. The strength of our strategy is its pure simplicity. Each product can trace its roots back to the Noni tree. Along the way, we've been fortunate to work with many highly skilled researchers and scientific colleagues from North and South America, Europe, and Asia. These scientists have made significant contributions in the fields of plant physiology, biomedicine, and Noni-related research. From the very beginning, our passion has never changed. It's always been to unlock the benefits, the secrets of the Noni plant, and then develop ways to deliver those benefits to the human body. We strive to improve well-being and general health, and ultimately, the family. The product possibilities are near endless. Der Noni Baum. Die Elemente, Blatt, Samen und Frucht. Exklusive Rohstoffe, die zur Produktentwicklung führen. Dieser mächtige Prozess hat zur Entdeckung und Entwicklung eines umfassenden und wohltuenden Produktangebots geführt, das die einzigartigen Vorteile der Noni in vielen verschiedenen Formen bieten. And one of the things which impressed me was that the Marinda people were able to keep the nutrient quality high, but have it in a palatable form. So drinking noni juice prepared by the Marinda company is actually a wonderful combination. We probably spent more time on Hoa than any other product that we ever developed. With Skin Supplement, we're returning it to its origins, and we're extending its benefits through a new product line. Our noni seed oil is the best of science and nature combined. And now we've purified it to make it virtually fragrance-free. Concentrated extracts fight free radical damage by providing a quick boost of antioxidant-rich noni. With Tahiti Trim Plant 40, we focus on balancing a woman's hormones, and that allows her to lose weight so much more easily. These cafes have become a tremendous hit with our distributors as well as with the general public. They've caught on because they offer us a healthy alternative with great atmosphere. Tahitian Noni Equine Essentials is the most revolutionary nutritional supplement ever developed for horses. It allows them to reach their genetic potential. Te Poema and Moea are based on ancient Tahitian secrets for beautiful skin and are a luxurious spa experience. With this history and momentum, the future really holds amazing possibilities. From the very beginning, we predicted that Noni would become part of the world culture of healthy living. And now with this powerful product development and research process, the future is literally at our doorstep with products to impact everyone, everywhere, in every walk of life. We began with a vision of hidden potential, and this vision really began to expand. The growth we saw in the early years of the company was unlike anything that we had ever experienced before. The Tahitian Noni International brand was taking root, 
and we realized we were witnessing the birth of a powerful new worldwide brand. Called Tahitian Noni International. Tahitian Noni is a half billion dollar juice company bringing the tropics to the dead of winter today. That is Katarina Vitt skating in Times Square where it was about 29 degrees to help Tahitian Noni launch a line of beauty products. Terrell Owens gave the company's juices partial credit for his ability to play in the Super Bowl. But this is a program that really is targeting women from 40 and beyond, keeping our figures. That and right. what is it called? It's called Tahiti Trim Plan 40, and it's by a company called Tahitian Noni International. Atlanta Tahitian Noni Cafe is opening its doors to the public, and they're taking Atlantic Station by storm. The weather may be bitter, but Julie Chang is in an island frame of mind. She's live on the ice in Times Square, strutting her stuff with Tahitian dancers. Julie. And, and isn't this cool? And I mean that in both sense of the word. We are Tahitian dancing in the middle of Times Square in freezing temperatures. Now, Taki is here. As this growth accelerated, we were anxious to find new and different ways to tell our story. We began to embrace the unconventional and this has really been our great strength. Three, two, one, cut! Ab dem Jahr 1998 begann TNI damit, weltweit Verkaufsbüros zu eröffnen. Diese Verkaufsbüros befinden sich auf erstklassigen Grundstücken, machen das Unternehmen sichtbar und kundenfreundlich und bieten prestigeträchtige Standorte, an welchen man Geschäfte tätigen kann. Heute gibt es über 35 Verkaufsbüros und Geschäftsbetriebe in über 70 Ländern. Im Jahre 2003 hat der Hishin Noni International einen Spielfilm finanziert und dessen Premiere gefeiert. Die Legende von Johnny Lingo. Dieses Südsee-Abenteuer bot wertvolle Unterhaltung für die ganze Familie und spiegelte TNIs wichtigste Werte. Wellness, Integrität und Respekt vor allen Menschen. Außerdem läuft der Film weiterhin im Fernsehen und ist auf DVD verfügbar. Somit zeigt er Millionen von Menschen die vorteilhaften Eigenschaften der Noni-Frucht. Im März 2003 eröffnete das erste Tahitian Noni Café in Tokio, Japan. Das Tahitian Noni Café ist ein Unternehmen mit umfassendem Service, mit einer Speisekarte voller wohltuender Getränke, von denen viele auf der Noni basieren. Dazu kommen weitere gesunde Speisen. I asked where the cafe was and they told me around the corner. As soon as I went around the corner, there was a mass of people. One of my friends called and I hadn't talked to him in years. I didn't tell him anything about the opportunity. I didn't pique his interest. I said, why don't you meet me down at our cafe and uh, we can just have some drinks or something. And I just want you to see, you know, something that I'm involved with. And he came down here and he was blown away. Jetzt gibt es die Tahitian Noni Cafés auf vier Kontinenten und es ist geplant, in den nächsten Jahren viele weitere zu eröffnen. Seit Beginn wurden Produkte und Verpackung genauestens kontrolliert und verbessert. Im Juni 2001 wurde ein neues patentiertes Flaschendesign vorgestellt. Dieses Design gab dem Tahitian Noni Juice ein markantes Aussehen in einem verbesserten Behälter. Somit hob sich das Produkt weiter von Konkurrenzprodukten ab. Auch an anderen Fronten stieg das Wachstum weiter. Im April 2003 genehmigte das Standing Committee on Foods der Europäischen Union den Tahitian Noni Juice als erstes neuartiges Lebensmittel für den Verkauf in europäischen Ländern. At that point in time, only the very large international food companies had applied for approval in the European Union. We spent millions of dollars and a lot of time, but it shows you how serious we are about our business and about our products. Im Oktober 2001 würdigte das Inc. Magazin das ungewöhnliche Wachstum dieses Unternehmens und stellte Morinda nahe der Spitze der Liste der 500 US-amerikanischen Unternehmen mit dem schnellsten Wachstum. From 1980 until now, over 10,000 companies have made that list. Now consider this. Of all of those 10,000 companies, Tahitian Noni International has a larger first five year sales figure than all 10,000 except two. Im Jahre 2004 hat die Marktforschungsfirma Griffin Hill festgestellt, dass Tahitian Noni International in der modernen Geschichte unter den vier am schnellsten wachsenden Unternehmen ist. 
Not only has Tahitian noni's growth rate been rapid, substantial, and sustainable, but they've demonstrated quality leadership, and that's added to corporate stability. We've studied a lot of businesses over the years, and those who are a part of this company should recognize what they're a part of. Tahitian Noni International is a rare phenomenon in the history of human enterprise. Von der Grundlinie Null im Jahre 1996 ist Tahitian Noni International auf über anderthalb Millionen unabhängige Produktberater in über 70 Ländern weltweit gewachsen. Das Unternehmen beschäftigt über 1600 Mitarbeiter. Die Verkaufszahlen insgesamt beliefen sich im achten Jahr auf 1,5 Milliarden Dollar. Am wichtigsten ist aber, dass Tahitian Noni International in seiner kurzen Geschichte über 1,5 Milliarden Dollar an seine unabhängigen Produktberater ausgezahlt hat. Die Gesamtzahl der verkauften Flaschen beläuft sich bis heute auf über 100 Millionen. Tatsächlich kauft alle 1,8 Sekunden jemand irgendwo eine Flasche Tahitian Noni Juice. Und alle Anzeichen deuten darauf hin, dass die Geschichte gerade erst angefangen hat. I was ready to retire. I just didn't figure that I wanted to watch Oprah all day and, uh, you know, run errands for my wife the rest of my life. And this whole thing has absolutely turned us around, given us the hope, the ability to do things we thought we'd never ever be able to do. And it's the best thing that's ever happened to me. I have my dreams back again. The joy of seeing other people succeed, that's important to me, to be to be involved in something that is actually helping people's lives. Tahitian Oni International has given me a sense of purpose in my life. I'm able to provide for my family in a way today I never could before, and I'm eternally grateful for this opportunity. The people that make up our company, we consider to be our greatest resource, and we feel a genuine affection for them. In fact, a large part of what we do as a company is to help them reach their goals and expand their vision and to give them new experiences. No other company will allow me to do the pure R&D that I can do here. I'm a part of it. The things that are happening here, my heart beats with it. You know, I can remember our very first convention. We were a little short on amenities, but we were dripping with vision. And every single person who attended that convention understood in their heart that this company was bound for greatness. These conventions tend to be a kind of a family reunion in a way. We, we love to see their faces and to re renew those, you know, those friendships. The uh, distributors came and boy, they were excited about the new venture that they had joined. The founders, it was the first time we had been together on stage. And yes, we were nervous, but boy, we were excited about this. At the, uh, the Nashville convention, we introduced the dancing noni fruits for the first time, and it was a bit of a shock to all of us except Kelly. Just a lot of good memories watching Stephen try to get into his tights behind stage were just <laughs> amazing. <laughs> you know, through the years, we have had conventions literally all over the world. We've actually taken thousands of our distributors to Tahiti to experience the roots of our company there. This is a very important part of the lifestyle of Tishinoni International, to gain those worldwide experiences. The training and building of our people is unparalleled in this industry. Our Success Path program takes you from day one as a distributor and continues with you every step of the way. 
until you've reached your highest goals. My name is Cesar Balenciano. I was born and raised in West New York, just across the river from Manhattan. My town has a little bit of everything, and it was fun growing up here, but I've always wanted something more for myself. My mother, who's from the old country, always taught me to respect my elders, treat others better than I would like to be treated, and have big dreams. Caesar, she would say, this is America. Anything is possible. Right out of high school, I joined the world's finest, the U.S. Marines. Mama was so worried, but finally she felt the Lord would take care of me and let me go. I went as a boy, traveled across the world, and came back a man. I worked my way up as a sales manager at a major car dealership, but time was a luxury only known to the owner. The rest of us, we were slaves to the money. When my mother got sick, I barely had enough time to see her, let alone care for her. I knew she was drinking Tahitian noni juice and had all her clients from her hair salon drinking it and was making some money, but I had seen companies like this before and wasn't interested. Then Mama asked me to go with her to a leadership convention, so I went. After spending four full days with my mother, I decided to give this a try. Because if I could spend that much time with my mother and still make a good living, well, the rest of my life would be spent making great memories. For the next year and a half, I talked to a lot of people. I came across an old friend from high school, and she had the same desire for success and achievement in her life. Well, we clicked. And the rest is history. I was born in the Bronx and raised in Union City, New Jersey. It's a small town where Cuban cuisine is just like it was in the island in the old days. When I was 15, I met a boy and we developed a really special friendship. Then, after losing touch for years, he walked into my house wearing a pin of a guy blowing a conch horn. I had seen that symbol before in my refrigerator. Well, on June 7, 2004, Caesar and I were married in our local courthouse. We started talking to people and working together, and we became part of a big family of Tahitian Noni distributors. I was finally on my way to achieving my dreams, and they all began coming true one by one as my life changed before my eyes. Today, I have a beautiful baby boy, an incredible husband, and a great family environment for our son to grow up in. My father and I gutted the hair salon and turned it into Noni Central. Today we have a successful organization and thriving business. Benicio has never gone to a babysitter that wasn't family. Mariela is a mother, a business owner, and one incredibly supportive wife. We couldn't be happier or more grateful. We're making the greatest memories of our life every day. We have definitely found our place. Auf der ganzen Welt haben Menschen wie die Valencianos ihren Platz gefunden. Von Bangkok bis Singapur, von Los Angeles bis London, von Auckland in Neuseeland bis Bern in der Schweiz. Dies sind die Gesichter, dies sind die Menschen vom Tahitian Noni International. When I first started, we were in this small, rented warehouse in East Provo. Nothing like where we are today. But even with the growth, this company has still kept a small, down-to-earth feel that makes all the employees feel welcomed and wanted. I feel extremely blessed to work for an organization that knows who you are and puts trust and confidence in you. I'll tell you, 
it's an absolute pleasure to come to work each day. And the kind of growth I'm seeing out there, the future looks even better. Am 1. April 2005 hat Tahitian Noni International eine neue, hochmoderne Produktionsstätte auf Tahiti eröffnet. Der Präsident Tahitis wandte sich an Regierungsvertreter, TNI-Mitarbeiter und hunderte von Gästen, die an dieser Veranstaltung teilnahmen. Diese Multimillionen-Dollar-Einrichtung ist die größte ihrer Art auf Tahiti und kommt 1000 Familien auf der Insel zugute. In 1995, the commercial value of noni was zero. Today it's the number one agriculture crop of French Polynesia. Am 11. Februar 2004 verlieh der Vizepräsident französisch Polynesiens Tahitian Noni International den Preis seines Landes für ein Unternehmen mit sozialer Verantwortlichkeit im Rahmen einer Zeremonie bei den Vereinten Nationen. I'm very grateful to Tisha Noni International for the positive impacts they've made in our community. They're clearly a clean, environmentally friendly organization that cares about our surroundings, not just for their business, but for everyone who lives here. Im Jahre 2002 zog das Unternehmen in den neuen Firmenhauptsitz in Provo, Utah. Kurz darauf eröffnete der Gouverneur John Huntsman Jr. das Besucherzentrum des Unternehmens vor einem Publikum mit Regierungsvertretern. Führungskräften aus der Gemeinde und tausenden unabhängigen Produktberatern. I really want to thank those who early on took the risk, created a product and made this happen and created what we see here today. Remarkable entrepreneurs in their own right and I think it's nice to stand up and celebrate the sense of entrepreneurship that is represented up here. Um das Gebäude des Hauptsitzes befindet sich eine 17 Hektar große Gartenfläche mit funkelnden Teichen und Bächen. The gardens are a place of beauty, peace, renewal. And it, it, it's about more than money. It's about the quality of life. It's about doing good. You know, we've received recognition from governments, business and professional organizations. But to me, the most important recognition comes from those almost unnoticed sources. Tahitians who have benefited from the new economy here. Employees who have met their spouse through the company and are building a great life together. Distributors who are finding fulfillment, a better lifestyle, a new hope. To us, these are the things that make it all worthwhile. This has been the most incredible 10 years of our lives. When we consider where we started and where we've come, we're humbly grateful. Our people are of every nationality, every walk of life, each making their own contribution. They're like a world-class symphony. And out of the harmony of this teamwork, has come a magnificent performance, and the best is yet to come.